Welcome back to my channel, JG's Trains. My name is Jeff, and boy do I have another choo-choo to review for you. I got Electric Mode Division, GP7 Demonstrator from MTH. She's a beauty, isn't she? Some brief history on the real GP7 by EMD. It was produced from October 1949 to May of 1954, and over 2,700 units were built, including five cabless B units, which were for the Santa Fe Railroad. The GP7 was EMD's answer against Baldwin, Fairbanks Morse, and American Locomotive Company, or ALCO for short, in the road switching market. Its reliability and well-built status push EMD and locomotive sales for years to come. Its 1500 horsepower 16 cylinder prime mover proved it was really good in freight service, but its overall car body design made it attractive for other railroads to use in passenger service as well. The GP part in GP7, or general purpose, or Jeep for short, reflected its duties as a road switcher, and the number seven was actually chosen because both the E7, F7, and SW7 locomotives from EMD were cataloged at the same time. Since the locomotive was so reliable and well built, many of them remain today on short lines and scenic railroads to this day. To show off this new locomotive to prospect railroads to buy the model, there was multiple demonstrator models made. Numbers 200, 300, number 525, and 922. 922 was the very first one produced, but it ended up being renumbered 100 when they made it into a demonstrator model. This one I have for you today is number 200. Now that we've gone over the brief history of the GP7, now let's go over this model from MTH. This MTH Premier model was released in 2001. It is a Proto Sounds 2 model. The item number is 20-2335-1. It is the demonstrator livery, which I think is very beautiful. The blue and the silver and the cream yellow color. I just think it looks really pretty. Plus, I do love the old General Motors Shield logo on the cab. The model measures 14 and 3 quarter inches in length. It has die cast trucks, fuel tank, frame. It has an ABS body with added details such as handrails. There's a horn here and over here. It's got movable spinning roof fans, see-through metal screens on the radiator. It's got drainage holes, which I think is a really nice touch. Not many of them have that. It's got very detailed side trucks. It's got an added snow plow on the front that's separately applied from the packaging. It has twin motors, one over each truck. It's got the proto smoke system, and this thing really can put out some smoke with the dual stacks. It's also got added safety chain, and a lot of nice beautifully molded in detail as well. The lighting features include marker lights, green ones up front, red ones in the back, illuminated number boards, and the interior of the cab lights up, and that will turn off once the engine starts moving. I'm gonna fire up by using the extended startup sequence on the DCS remote. Let's hit the bell. I really like the horn on this one. We'll give that one a listen. And now we're gonna hook it up to some cars and take it around the lab. I'm gonna hook it up to some cars now by firing the rear coupler using the DCS remote. You can also fire the front one with the coupler as well. Now I'm going to put in reverse. Now we're going to get ready and roll it out. And as the cars go by, I'll explain which ones they are that are hooked up to the train today. Okay. 
First up is an Altoona Brewing Company Curve Premium Beer Car from MTH. Another variation of the Curve Beer Premium Car from MTH as well. Both beautiful cars. This one's a PRR Refrigerated Trains and Company Altoona Lager Car from Weaver. And here is a Baltimore American Pilsner Beer Reefer from MTH. These reefer cars are some of the greatest cars in all those scale, in my opinion. After a long day of hauling freight, it's time to shut her down. This is a beautiful model from MTH. The item number again is 20-2335-1. I got very lucky with this and found it on eBay thinking it was a used locomotive. Once I opened it up, I found out that it was never run before and the only thing I had to do was put a BCR in it, which is the, looks like a nine volt battery BCR since this is an early Proto 2. Once I did that, she has ran flawless, great. I mean, knock on wood like always, but Proven reliability, once again, from MTH. It's a beautiful model. That's it for now. I want to thank you guys again for tuning in and watching my video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. This is JG's Trains, signing off.